I'm so hyped up. I just wanted to record this live. No cuts, nothing. Um, and first off, let me thank the people of Vasconia that helped me paint my house white. It is now known as Casablanca and has nothing to do with my color and race, maybe. But it has to do with this beautiful house that everybody sees from the street now. So everything's green, roofs and white buildings. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So. Thanks to those who helped me, if you see this video. Now the reason I'm so excited today, guys, for any of you that might be considering an international move, specifically from the United States to Costa Rica, similar to what I have done, something really cool has happened with me this week is I started my business application. So I already had a corporation that I came here with that I bought my house through, which is very intelligent for many reasons but I also knew that I was gonna be cooperating my business along with living here. So, I began the official processes of getting permits, licenses, everything in the United States that takes weeks if not months and sitting in front of board meetings and council meetings and seeking approval and getting approval from the, the fire chief and paying money for that and for electrical and paying money for that, inspections and plumbing inspection and paying money for that and this and this and this and this and that and paying all this money before you even get to open your business. Now Costa Rica makes it very easy and simple. It took me about 20 minutes with the business department of the Municipalidad in Perita. It took me about five minutes with the social security um, kind of insurance agency that I needed to have for my property um, in order to open before I could uh, apply for the business. So I then go back for five minutes, get all the business stuff done, and then today, a day later, a gentleman shows up to do the inspection of my entire property, one person, zero dollars to inspect the entire property, plumbing, electric, facilities, um, is it ready for massage, is it ready for fitness, are there other spaces that people can utilize, and I got approved, and he said I would definitely get approved, and that the health department was the only one that would come next to inspect it, um, but he made note of us using outdoor facilities. My gym is going to be outside to start, the massage is located over there by those Sintar Buddhas. Uh, we have let me actually pan in. Part of this mess, this is going to be cleaned up. We're just finishing up painting. Um, so that's going to be our outdoor massage area. I'm going to get some nice mandala blankets to hang, and you guys will see updates of that, or you'll see it when you get here. Um, but everything goes so smoothly. It took me two days and maybe another third day, and they said, so what's today? It's Tuesday today. By Friday... When this video is being shot, they said I could go pick up the official printed paper that says I'm ready to open for business. So Monday to Friday, business open, zero dollars sent, zero dollars for permits, zero headaches, zero hassles by any corrupt town officials, which I had to deal with on numerous occasions in numerous towns um, when I was running businesses in the United States. So this is a literally completely different world and dimension to live, to operate a business, to operate a lifestyle in any way. It's just unimaginable. And the details of how things work financially with businesses. Once a year, a business pays a fee. If your business is not operational, my first year it was not operational, so the fee was about $100 US. This year I opened it up for operational and I paid my taxes and it's $200, it's double that. Next year and every year after this, I will have to pay the same fee, which is about $200 to operate, plus 13% tax of income. So of every dollar I make here, I have to pay 13 cents or set aside 13 cents and then in January of the new year I send that in with my annual corporation fee and that's it it's done and then they have a interesting tracking system which I haven't fully studied to understand but that's my next step because it's necessary now 
every time you go to a store and you buy something, you actually put in a code. So there's a database, a computer database network somewhere, central government network that keeps track of everything everybody is spending and being compensated. So there's this balance system so they can see if there's you know, illegal money coming in or people claiming less or more money than they should. Um, and expenditures, they can help, this is what's very interesting about it, they can advise accountants and special consultants to help people who are annually spending more than they have coming in. And this is a problem in the United States that banks love people to do. They want credit cards with 18% fees and all the stuff that they know people can't pay. And then they own other, you know, the people's other stuff, their homes, their cars, everything that they want to mortgage or put lines of credit on and all this different stuff. The banks in the United States want to own everything and own everybody and treat everybody like they're money slaves, like they're just ATMs for the banks. The humans in the United States are actually ATMs for the banks and humans think they go to ATMs from the banks, but they're just getting their own money and every time they do, the bank takes money. So humans are ATMs for banking industry new perspective here that doesn't really happen they have banks they do the same thing but at least financially they're helping people keep track of their accounting and making them more mindful of what they're doing and where they're spending and how they're spending and how much they're earning so at least in the year and a half that i've gotten to know the people here and my neighbors and friends now they are very financially savvy in that they're always thinking, okay, this is how much we need per month, so this is how many cows I need to sell, how many eggs I need to sell, how much cheese I need to sell, how many chickens I need to, you know, raise and breed and sell to others and, and whatever business they're doing, raising pigs or, or trees they need to cut down or fruits they need to sell that are on the property that are in season. This is a constant calculation that I don't think anybody in the United States thinks about if we're honest with ourselves, like everybody's just like swiping, spending, Venmoing, whatever, and think about it later or think about it never because there's like a trend going where people are boycotting the government and the government is now considering forgiving their debts because they went to schools that they didn't do anything at but party and they spent all this money that they shouldn't have spent on beer and drugs and clothes and bullshit when they could have been financing their own college experience rather than depending on a bank that they knew was extorting them. And now they're complaining and, and they're almost getting their way and getting their loan forgiveness, which is a crock of shit. The banks aren't right, but neither are these people. But anyway, it's, it's different. Here in Costa Rica, they actually teach people about accounting and knowledge and how money works and not just money is a thing to throw at things so you don't have to think about them. Um, and that's my little two cents, but I'm just super excited because this place is so much better in every single freaking way. Um, <laughs> those dogs are going crazy because my neighbors are chasing their cows which are on my property. I don't mind it because they eat the long grass that I haven't cut in the past month or so, so thank you cows, but my neighbors are a little upset they got to chase their cows all over the place. But life is good, Pura Vida. Um, if you're looking to open a business, this is probably the video you want to watch. If you have any other questions, comment below. I answer everything that I can when I see it, and I would be happy to share any knowledge that I have acquired through my experiences here so far or my conversations with other you know, business people that have been doing it a lot longer than me here. Um, I'd be happy to share all that with you. So come visit sometime. The property's getting finished. We are officially, as of Friday after this video, so we're at 2-2-2-2022 right now. This is a pretty cool date. I'm gonna post this video on that date. Um, so cool, yeah, big changes. The Pluto thing, whatever the F astrologers are saying. Um, new changes, new comings, big, big changes and positive changes. What a smile on my face after this guy left today. And while he was here, he probably thinks I'm a goofy little kid starting a business, but I'm not. I'm an old man retired in Costa Rica trying to help the community remember their past and do some good for the future. So thanks for tuning in.
See you soon.